Hello boys and girls. Today we are doing a fun counterbalance on the basis sacrum. Uh, first let's demonstrate a possible fall. So I'm going to come down onto my shins, get into a uh, child's pose. The flyer steps on um, my sacrum bone and the second foot steps on my upper back. Now you want to try this at this level before you come high and see if you feel comfortable falling out of this before you try anything above this level. So a possible fall as you're coming up this way is the flyer starts to look down because their natural instinct is, oh, I'm falling, and they look down to spot the fall. But when you look down, you bring this bowling ball of weight, which is your head, and you bring it down and it drops all your weight forward. So it's really dangerous. So a good thing to do is if you feel like you're falling for the flyer, the first thing she does or he does is he squats. Boom, and then eyes the base, I also squat down low to get that height lower. And then she can use her hands. The whole time, if she's looking down, she's gonna fall forward. But if she spots a head and squats at the same time, she can surf like a surfboard and try to grab my head or grab my hips or something to where she's still looking forward, but squatting to lower her height. Okay, so keep that in mind when, when you're falling. And always try it at this level before you go high. So now let's break down uh, what the base and the flyer can do to keep this safe. So again, I'm getting in a child's pose on my shins. I'm kneeling forward. My hands are underneath me to support myself. And then the flyer will step on my sacrum, bones on the back, and the second foot steps here towards my neck here. Uh, from there, I'm going to lift my neck back, reach over for her heel here, and then the second hand, I'll grab the uh, the front of the foot. I'm, trying, I'm, I'm giving her support but I'm not grabbing on tight because if she falls I want to make sure to give her the choice to to hop off of me if she wants. So I'm not going to grab onto her feet but I'm going to provide a nice support. Then as I slowly extend my arms forward she's going to slowly lean away from me to create that counterbalance. And it's very important that the flyer leans very slowly because the quicker she, she makes her adjustment I have to adjust that much faster. So slow movements on the flyer's part and and you can try to play with how far you can lead. Notice how her the leg on my sacrum is very straight and it's stacked and that gives her a lot of um, strength as she stacks her legs. I'm going to support her legs this way, counterbalance there and her weight's going back so I'm pulling forward a little bit with the open palm and notice how she draws a nice line with the t-ball with her hands and her hips are forward and her shoulders are back. From there, you can slowly lean down to your knees and lean up this way to go a little higher. And she's gonna to try to keep that leg on the sacrum nice and straight. I'm sorry, her, her legs, the legs that are on my sacrum nice and straight for that bone. There you go. And then we'll come, slowly come down, bring her feet back on your shoulder and then she can just slowly hop off. Again, to try that, try that on the ground before you do that in the air. So for, for flyers, I would uh, recommend that they just try to see if they can balance on one leg first. Do that lean. See how comfortable that feels before you jump on someone's back. So until then guys, be playful and be safe. I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.